Croatia, down the highway, we're just heading about another 15 kilometres to get toward the border area, uh, the border with Bosnia. The plan is... In 800 metres, take exit 19 Zupania for D55 towards Zupania, Vukovar. Okay. So yeah, the plan is to head to uh, Bosnia, cross into Bosnia, and hopefully from Bosnia cross back into Serbia if the border's open, but we don't know. So we'll go, we'll have a look anyway. So Take good. exit 19, Zupania. Just on this guy, we've ch I've changed SIM cards I think three times now. Uh, this is the the beauty of travelling around Europe is it's so close to each other, which is great. <coughs> so close to each other, which is really really cool. But keep right. Oh, what the hell? Okay, looks like we've got another <laughs> payment area, and I've got no. Continue for 800 meters. I got no money for no Croatian money. Hello, how are you? I don't have any Croatian money at all. <laughs> yeah, no, no, thank you. We're just coming in, going to Bosnia and back out. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, mate. guys so another toll didn't have any Croatian money so let me put the window back up because it's fucking boiling hot outside So we just 400 meters merge onto D55. Alright. Yeah, so I was saying the beauty of traveling around Europe is it's so close to each other, you can visit countries and that, but because there's some EU and non-EU and they all have different roaming agreements and that, you're continually changing bloody SIM cards and you've got to watch your roaming plans or you'll end up getting charged an arm and a leg. Um, Continue on D55 for 5 kilometers. So I literally just stopped and got a SIM card for Croatia with unlimited data for a week. And I'm about to cross into Bosnia, so... And Bosnia is non-EU, which means even if I had roaming on with my Romanian plan, which is in EU, that it wouldn't work anyway. So I need to get a Bosnian SIM card to navigate back to Serbia. <laughs> like anyone listening to this is probably confused as hell now. So I hope you're not confused guys. But yeah, it did sound confusing, but it's not that bad. All right, I'll pick up again when we get to the Bosnian border crossing. Okay guys, just thought I'd record in here, it's the first small sort of, wait, recording, so I'll shut up if you want to record something. It's the first uh, small mm, Croatian, I nearly forgot which country we're in now, first small Croatian town we've come through, so, and probably won't go through too many more because we're going to cross into Bosnia soon, so just giving you a look at a Croatian town, small little country Croatian town, I don't know how typical these are of, um, Croatian uh, architecture and things like this, whether this is new, old, mix of both, I don't know. So, but this is our first look at a, a small town in Croatia, just just across the border from Serbia. In 400 meters, keep 
400 meters, turn left onto Krat Karalika. Yeah, the houses here are a little bit different to Romanian houses in most areas, but not too Take dissimilar. The next left onto Krat Karalika. Not too dissimilar to Serbian, I think. There's a bit more colour in these ones by the look of things. Just basically, they look like. Ah, oh, shit. That's alright, mate. I'll pull over here and In 200 metres, at the roundabout, take the third exit and stay on Alika Brace Radic. the border crossing off to our left guys so I think Google Maps has taken us sort of parallel to the border and Continue the, straight, then turn right. it looks like it wants to put us right in the middle of the river continue straight and turn right well, we can't really do that well, we can but take the next right what the? take the next right <clears throat> if we take the next right, we bypass the border. In 400 meters, you will arrive at your destination. No, I don't think we will. <laughs> I 
place. I just thought this is exactly the place I saw on Google Maps. I drove right along that, right up to the side of the border there. Turn There's right. A... Okay, Google Maps. No, we're going to stop. Cont we're going to stop for a sec. We're going to tell you to Sorry, shut up. I don't understand. Shut up. Shut up for now. seen so far this looks very like you're going through the old communist days into East Germany or something <laughs> 